my name is Mark Leach of Metasynthesis and I'm the author of the Chemogenesis webbook. This short series of videos concerns Lewis acids, Lewis bases and Lewis acid base interactions, a concept that is extremely useful in understanding chemistry and chemical reactivity. The first video is an introduction and background to Lewis acids and Lewis bases. In 1923, Gilbert Newton Lewis defined a Lewis acid as a substance that can employ an electron pair from another molecule in completing a stable group of its own atoms. The more modern IUPAC definition of a Lewis acid is a molecular entity that is an electron pair acceptor able to react with a Lewis base to form a Lewis adduct by sharing the electron pair furnished by the Lewis base. This definition is both more general and more specific. As the electron pair need not be a lone pair, it can be a pair of electrons from a pi bond, but the reaction must always give an adduct. Quick reminder, Lewis bases are electron pair donors, for example, water, with, a look, with its lone pair of electrons, this can be shown with a curly arrow going from the lone pair, where a curly arrow represents the movement of an electron pair, likewise ammonia with its curly arrow. Loose bases react via their highest occupied molecular orbital, or HOMO. This is often seen with alkenes, which have a molecular orbital, pi system, and a curly arrow goes from the electron-rich pi system. In the chemogenesis analysis, Lewis bases are coloured blue. Lewis acids are electron pair acceptors. For example, boron trifluoride, a curly arrow goes towards the vacant orbital on BF3, or a carbenium ion, a carbocation, and again, a curly arrow always goes towards this electron-deficient carbon centre. Lewis acids also react via their lowest unoccupied molecular orbital or LUMO. For example, the allyl cation is susceptible to attack by a lone pair of electrons. In the chemogenesis analysis, Lewis acids are coloured red. Right, so Lewis acid plus Lewis base gives a Lewis acid base complex. An electron pair acceptor plus an electron pair donor, another way of saying the same thing, gives a Lewis acid base complex. For example, boron trifluoride and ammonia, curly arrow, gives the Lewis acid base adduct of uh, ammonia and BF3. A HOMO plus a LUMO gives a bonding molecular orbital. This could be seen in diels alder type cycloaddition, where the HOMO of the diene reacts with the LUMO of the dienophile to give a diels alder adduct, which is a type of Lewis acid base complex. Reaction mechanisms. Right, here we have uh, two bromopropane, and this can react with hydroxide ion. The curly arrow can come in, attack the delta positive carbon centre, displace bromide ion, giving us the uh, propan-2-ol or 2-propanol. This is an SN2 nucleophilic substitution reaction, whereas the hydroxide ion is behaving as a nucleophile. Alternatively, the hydroxide ion can abstract a proton, form an alkene double bond, displace the bromide ion to give uh, propene, eliminating HBr. This is an E2 base catalyzed elimination reaction. In this reaction, the hydroxide ion is behaving as a Bronsted base. So, the hydroxide ion is a Lewis base, and this analysis helps us understand what is going on. The hydroxide ion Lewis base can behave as a nucleophile, and it can behave as a Bronsted base, a proton abstracting base. So the hydroxide ion with the, uh, the alkyl halide can initiate SN2 nucleophilic substitution, or it can initiate E2 base catalyzed elimination. Typical Lewis acid base behaviors. 
Lewis bass behaviour. As a shorthand, a Lewis bass is something that complexes with a Lewis acid. A Lewis acid is something that complexes with a Lewis bass. Lewis bases are typically electron pair donors such as ammonia and water. They may be Bronsted bases, proton abstracting bases, for example a hydroxide ion or a carbanion. Lewis bases behave as nucleophiles, for example thioanions. Ligands. Lewis bases can behave as ligands, for example in the uh, hexa aqua iron 3 complex, the iron is surrounded by water ligands. Anionic counter ions, for example sulfate iron and nitrate iron, often uh, act as counter ions without being involved in very much chemistry. Electron rich pi systems such as benzene, uh, and here we have the highest occupied molecular orbital, the HOMO, which is the reactive part of the benzene system. All Lewis acids. Lewis acids can behave in various ways as lone pair acceptors, for example, boron trifluoride and aluminium chloride. Metal cations, for example, the Al3 plus iron and the iron 3 iron. Electrophiles, for example, the acyl cation, which uh, reacts with benzene, the Friedel Crafts reaction, is a powerful electrophile and a Lewis acid. The proton H plus is a Lewis acid. Cationic spectator ions such as potassium are Lewis acids. Electron poor pi systems are Lewis acids. For example, the allyl cation. Uh, this reacts via its LUMO, its lowest unoccupied molecular orbital. The Lewis acid and Lewis base concept organises and explains the majority of reaction chemistry that school and university students are expected to be familiar with. Lewis acid based reaction chemistry concerns electron pair donors, electron pair acceptors, anions, cations, lone pairs, ligands, spectator ions, lumos, homos, nucleophiles, nucleofuges, electrophiles, electrofuges, electrophilic and nucleophilic substitution, acid and base catalyzed elimination, bronsted acidity, proton abstracting bases, adducts complexes, diels alder cycle addition, curly arrows and more. No other reaction chemistry is so broad, so varied or so central to how we think about and understand chemical reactivity. Thank you very much for listening.